but it's less bad than it was. That's what I'm trying to get. I'm trying to reward those little tries. And you may notice when I get that, I completely let go. Okay? There was a, um, and I think that's a very, very important part of training horses initially is completely let go. A lot of these horses are ridden on contact from the first ride and they never find a complete release and so they don't really know what the answer is. I had a, uh, I did a day of lessons at an, a, a, a jumping place about an hour south of here a few years ago and all day long they were telling me about this horse and I can't remember his name, let's call him Billy, that Billy had a broken jaw when he was a yearling and he's a venture. He had a broken jaw when he was a yearling and you know, they did surgery on it the whole bit, but Billy is bad about contact, okay? He's been to every big event in trainer in California. Billy's bad about contact. Uh, can't get Billy good with the contact. And they kept telling me about Billy all day long, and finally at the end of it, so I did like a day of lessons one at a time. And at the end of the day, Billy, they bring, out they bring Billy. And when the girl that was riding most of the horses, when she'd come out on them in the beginning, she'd be having a lot of contact and making them do stuff. And I, every time she came out, I'd go, just turn loose and tell me what this horse wants. To, let me see what this horse wants to do, where it wants to go. See if I've got to work on the gait, the other horses, anything like that. And so by the end of the day, this girl had that bit figured out. So she came out in Billy and she walked around the loose road and Billy looked fine. And I said, go ahead and trot. So she trots around on Billy and he looked fine. And I said, well, I thought, I'll let her stop here for a second. I said, I thought, Billy was bad about contact. And she said, well, he, yeah, he is. What, I mean, sorry, I thought Billy was bad flinging his head around. And they said, oh, he is. Watch, watch what he does in contact. So the girl, she trots around and picks up the contact on Billy. And Billy, as soon as she picks up the contact, raised his head up in the air for two strides. Puts it down for two strides. Puts it up for two strides. Puts it down for two strides. It's like clockwork the whole time. Up, down, up, down. And she trots a couple of laps like that, and I noticed this anxiety in this mare here. Uh, I, she trots a couple of laps like that, and I said, uh, so I don't think Billy's bad. And they go, what, can't you see that? Billy's terrible. He just can't keep his head in one spot. And I said, how long has he been doing this? And they said, oh, since he's been started, you know, like three years. And I said, Billy is a wonderful horse for three years, and they said, no, Billy's been bad. I said, no, Billy's great. I said, for three years, Billy's been going, is this the answer? No, here, well, let me try this. Is this the answer? Will this make you release? No. Well, let me try this. Will this make you release? No. Will this make you release? No. What about this? Billy's keeping asking questions. Billy should have said, forget you by now, and said, get lost. So I said to the girl, just go ahead and trot him around the loose run now. What I'm trying to do is just close your fingers and take hold of that contact. Now, he is going to stick his head in the air for two strides exactly. As his head starts to go from up in the air to down, let go and go back to a loose rein. So she did that for a while. She kept repeating that. And after a while, when she picked up on the contact, Billy's head didn't go in the air. So I said, what I want you to do now is pick up on the contact. If his head goes down, okay? So now instead of it going up straight up, it started going down. Now he still wasn't uh, being very good. He was kind of hiding behind the contact a bit. But I said, just go ahead and pick up on that. And if it goes down for two strides, what I want you to do is hold it there. And as it starts to come up, let go. So she did that for a while. And pretty soon he didn't throw it in the air. And after a while, when she picked up, he didn't put it down. He kind of just went to the middle right here and almost started to accept that contact. I said, okay, so now what I want you to do is hold that for one stride. So she trots around, picks up the contact, he stays right there where he's supposed to be, let go. We did that for a while, and then I said, okay, so now go ahead and hold it for two strides. Anyway, he does that for two strides, and then sticks it back in there. And I said, okay, let's go back to the beginning, the Donkey Kong principle, let's go back to release when it comes down. Went through that whole process again, and after about half an hour of that, probably, maybe a little longer, she could pick up the contact on Billy and trot him around the arena and he kept his head where it was supposed to be except that that contact, he wasn't above it and he wasn't below it. He kind of went, oh, this is the place where I can be. And initially we held it for two, one stride and let go, two strides let go, three strides let go, four strides let go, five strides let go until Billy could, could trot around the whole arena and accept that contact. And 
everybody thought Billy was a bad, bad horse, and Billy was actually a very good horse. He was looking for the answer. He was looking for something he could do to get a complete release. And so, as I was saying with her, I think it's very important teaching this contact that when you, they get it right, they get a complete release. Okay, after a while, we don't have to release, but initially you have to release.